When we left William and Kate, they wrapped up a conservation conversation and headed back to Jaguar Reef for a scuba adventure that the press didn't get to see. This morning via Instagram, they shared the underwater wonder of Belize's barrier reef with the world. It's really fantastic to see the underwater environment here in Belize and what wonderful work they've been doing to protect the coral and the fish life. Belize's work on marine protection is world leading, which is crucial when you're protecting the world's second largest barrier reef. And in fact, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it's clear to see that Belizeans value their environment, whether it's the marine environment or the land environment. And it's great to see that their commitments are going further and further, and we should support them and value their efforts to protect both the marine and the land environments. But the next day, it was back to the official itinerary. A visit to Belize's most magnificent Mayan structure with guidance from archaeologist Dr. Alan Moore. They, they were so, they, they was taken back a bit, ah, you know, um, they couldn't believe the, the, the massiveness of the structure. And um, it, it, it's, it's almost an, an illusion because when you, you get to like mid, at the midpoint, it's so high and yet it seems so low. And when you get way up top, it's, um, it's even more grandeur, you know, impressive, impressive, impressive. He, he was so um, impressed with it that he goes like, how many people come back here, you know? How many people get back here? I said, well, with COVID, we never had that many, but even without COVID, you don't have that many because one, it's too far. Most of our, our market, our tourism market is, 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 is steered towards the cruise shipper that has to get back by evening. So, and that's kind of, like I could see him going in his mind, well, that's good, keep it away. And from the top of the Sky Palace, the couple could see the deforestation already visible on the fringe of the horizon. Upon descending, they learned more about that issue from Batsub and the FCD's Rafael Manzanero. I did describe us to them about the issues that we have in terms of illegal wildlife trafficking as related to this Kalimaka issue in the area. Um, you know, so that was the part of the of the presentation. Um, the second one, um, um, you know, Cherise, where we got involved was the unveiling of the plaque that occurred um, with Batsub up at, at New Maria Camp. Um, in that activity, um, as how we all know, the Chiquibul National Park is known as, a, as the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy. And later at the Platinum Jubilee reception hosted by the Governor General, it was time to party. The royal couple once again received a warm welcome from Prime Minister Brisenio. I've seen the pictures. They're wonderful. In the case of Prince William, I say welcome back. He stuck into Belize many years ago when I was Deputy Prime Minister. And he did not say hi to me. Central to the Gigi's reception was a royal feast cooked up and coordinated by Belize's own celebrity chef, Sean Quillen. 7 News got a tour of his five food stations on our live stream last night. This is uh, Reno Blanco. Why Reno Blanco? Reno Blanco is a special dish only eaten around Christmas and New Year's. A lot of Belizean won't eat this every day because it's an expensive dish. The reason it's expensive because of the ingredients, capers, saffron, raisins, almonds, atole, corn. Get it with some panela. Panela is, a, is like a molasses, rapadura, you put some of that in there. You, you know, this is the molasses, a little bit of cinnamon stick. We move on. This whole station is all corn. All corn. All corn because it's like it's like um, all corn. So here you can get your ducuno, ducuno. your tamales. What? Different that? kinds of tamales. This one is regular tamales. This one is tamales with beans. One is colado. One is boyo. This one is called brazo de reina. Brazo de reina. Brazo de reina translates to the arm of the queen. So so far you got an array of tamales. You got. Reno Blanco, you have pecan, you have steak, you have curry shrimp, you have cuckoo cabbage, you know eat shrimp, you have crab, because we're going to grill that live right here. And then you must follow me, because we only got two more stations. Two more stations. But Sean, in your career, did you ever think that you were going to cook for royalty? Not at all. And this was the occasion in which William and Kate had the chance to mingle with prominent Belizeans who attended the A-list social. Ever the diplomats, they left glowing impressions on everyone in attendance. At the end of the evening, Prince William took to the podium to express warm wishes and gratitude 
from the Queen of Belize. He also promised that this was far from his last visit. Catherine and I have been deeply touched by the warm welcome Belizeans have given us. We only wish we could have stayed longer. Now we know why Belize is so lovingly referred to as the jewel. We hope to return again soon and to show our children this wonderful country. They are rather jealous that they're not here with us now. And this morning they were off, walking a red carpet through a guard of honor back to the Royal Air Force Voyager bound for Jamaica. Sharice Halsell, 7 News.